Hi, welcome back to Awkward Hamster. As promised, I'm going to make a video on the setup of this new Foscam. The model is FI8910W. So right now, the webcam, it's not plugged in. No power, no Ethernet cable. Ethernet cable is here. The power cable is still here. So the first thing I'm going to do is install the software onto the computer. So the software, the CD can came with it right here. This works on a Mac or a Windows computer and I just happen to have a Windows computer here so first thing I'm going to do is insert the disk and let's see what comes up. Alright, there's no, there's no older one with this, this version here so I'm going to just open the folder to view and as you can see here there's let me see, three folders, one for a Windows operating system, one for Mac, another phone, no, another one for a phone view. The phone view one, let's check that out. It's a jar file, so this is more for the uh, the phones, the mobile phones that support Java applications. So for myself, I'm just going to go into the number one folder for Windows operating system. And I'm going to double click on the IP camera setup. I'm going to set the defaults, next, next, okay, that's it. And that's if I want to restart the computer, I'm going to say no for now. I'm going to close this window here. So if you can see here, I put a new icon on my desktop, the IP, IP camera tool. So before I start that, I'm going to first plug in the power to the Foscam. So the power goes in right here. And I'm going to plug in the uh, Ethernet as well. You can see the network LEDs blinking away. And since this is the power up of a Foscam, it's going to do like a system, it always does a system test to recenter itself. So the camera's now all powered up, and you can see here when I plugged in the Ethernet cable to the camera on my router, the light came on, so it's now part of the network at my home. And just make sure that you're using a computer that's on the same network. It sounds kind of obvious, but just got to mention that because some people have more than one networks running their home such as myself so now just run this IP camera tool and when you run it this comes up it detected the Foscam so you can, just, you can right click on it, let me just show you the options here basic properties, network configuration, upgrade firmware refresh camera, flush app buffer and the about. First I'm just going to double click and it brings me to this login screen. Uh, since I'm using Internet Explorer I can just log in this way. If I was using, using some other web browser I'll log in through here. Now at the login screen I'm going to type in the default user ID which is ADMIN and the default password leave it blank and just click on login. If I was using some other web browser, I'll click here first to log in. Because with the IE link, it will ask you to install a uh, ActiveX plugin. So depending on your the version of your web browser, your Internet Explorer, on the bottom over here, uh, something will come up that says, do you want to install this, this um, plugin from Shen something? from the manufacturer basically. Okay, so you see it here on the bottom here and right here this comes up. So now I'm going to click on install. After you do that, it will bring you back to the main page again. So once again, type in the default user of admin, click on login. Let's see if it works this time. It's taking a little longer to load than usual. 
For the other FOSCAMs, I prefer not to administer it using Internet Explorer. I found it easier to use either Chrome, Safari, or even Firefox. So now it's asking me do I want to install the software again. As actual software, I say yes, install. Okay. Hey. So, as you can see, everything's all set up now. So before I go into the administration page for the FOSCAM, I just first take a moment to talk about the options you have for visitors and operators. So as a visitor, you can choose over here to tile the, the FOSCAMs if you have multiple FOSCAMs. And on the bottom here, you can choose the uh, audio setting, such as you want to turn the microphone on or you want to turn on the speakers. And it claps that. And for operators, you have the this dial, this jog dial over here. This one just allows you to, let's say, you want to, I want to pan the FOSCAM. I want to tilt it. Or if you press the center over here, this just recenters the FOSCAM. So let me head back to the visitor part again. Just make the screen a little bit bigger. There's a bunch of other, other options such as you want to turn the IR on or off. Uh, you can set the resolution to a lower resolution. If you set it to a lower resolution, if you can see privacy now, the frame rate is a lot faster. It's about 30 frames per second. Whereas if you're playing this or recording it as the 640 by 480, now it's only about 15 frames per second. So now you see more of this, this haze. Uh, mode, 50 hertz. I live in North America, so 50 hertz is, is exactly what I need. The frames per second, you can adjust it here. Uh, you can also adjust the brightness, the contrast, and some of the presets. So now let's go to the administration page. So at this administration page, you can see the firmware I'm running. It's 11.22.2.38. So let's go to some alias settings. I haven't really named my named this boss cam yet. I'm just gonna leave it as an anonymous for now. The date time. Oh, all right. I'll change that to Eastern. I live in Jersey. I'm hit submit. Let's see user settings. For now, I'm just gonna leave the user ID the way that they are. Multi device setting. I'm uh, on this network. I have. No other FOSCAMs. My other FOSCAMs are on a different wireless network. The basic network settings, port 80. I'll go over the, <clears throat> the network settings in my next video where I'll show you how to connect to your FOSCAM from outside the home. So, for example, if you were to use your iPhone or Android phone, you can, I'll show you how do you uh, connect to the FOSCAM using one of those. The wireless LAN settings. So now I'm just going to first scan. Hmm. Still did not. Oh, sorry. I'm not sure why I didn't pick up my wireless networks. All right, I had to scan a second time. So I'm going to browse to my wireless network, which is the last one here, and I'm going to put in my uh, web password. Close your eyes. After I did that, it's asking to restart the webcam. Okay, the webcam is now back up. So let me just go over some of the other settings that's, that's uh, available to you. The ADSL, that's if, you, if you're using DSL and you want to just connect this, have the webcam log in directly to your DSL modem, you can. UMP settings, I don't use that. DDNS, I was, this is the one I'll be showing in my next video, uh, how to set up a uh, dynamic DNS. You don't have to use the options here. Uh, you actually don't even even have to use this page here. Uh, I do it just because it's it's, it's simple. The, the DOI and DNS is here already. Prior to this, I used to use the noip.org uh, website. I use their service. The, the there's the mail service settings. Let's see MSN settings, so that you, some of your friends can be uh, connected to this. Your FTP. That's if you have an FTP server, you can upload the images to the, the site in uh, increments that you define. Alarm service, motion, if that's in case it detects motion, then it will send you a mail alert, upload an image. 
PTZ. This I'm not sure what it is for. Oh, sorry. So the PTZ, this is the part where I like to uncheck this, where it says go to center or reboot. The reason I, un I uncheck this is because every time you power down the FOSS cable where you, where you reboot it, it will always uh, pan, tilt, this, it will scan basically the whole room, and that takes time. I don't need it to do that. I like it so that once, I, once it reboots, it's still fixated on the same spot as it was previously. Okay, so with that change, it required a, re a reboot too. And now, if it's done rebooting, next is the next on the list is here the upgrade device firmware. So you can download the up updated firmware from Foscam, and you just upgrade it through here. The backup and restore settings. I see really no need to backup my settings. Mine's not that complicated. Here's the reset. Restore factory settings. I'm saying no for now. Is the reboot device? No, I don't want to reboot. It keeps a log. And back. So as with this FOSS cam, as you can, the the microphone right now is probably a foot away, and it's not capturing any of the audio. Sorry, there's the sound that it, uh, the the pan and the tail is making. The motor noise on the FOSS cam is very light. I've seen some loud webcams, for example, like, like the Eddie Max. That one, you can hear it from across the room. With the FOSS cam, you can barely hear it. So that's why I think that the FOSS cam is great for a, a video baby monitor. When I work, I can watch my child. Alright, so now I'm going to unplug the, the, the uh, FOSS cam from the wire network have it be wireless and I'm also gonna put this in the, put the FOSS cam in a dark area just see the just so I can show the infrared night vision. So as you see here, the FOSS cam is still plugged in. So I'm just gonna unplug the network adapter. And the picture should automatically adjust itself. So the LEDs are still blinking, but all pictures, as you can see, it takes a little while to switch from wire wire to wireless, but now the picture readjusted itself. So now it's completely wireless. This FOSS camera right now sits in a supply closet, so I'm just gonna close the door. Let all the, as you can see the lights, how the FOSS cam automatically adjusts to the, uh, the, light, the amount of light in the room. So with everything, every ounce of light out of that room, the, night, the infrared night vision turns on automatically. So I can still, I can still operate the camera this way. I can still go t tilt, pan. I can still operate it, operate the FOSCAM as, as however I want. And the range for this, from what I can tell so far, it's at least enough to stretch across the whole room. Even if your room is, let's say, 10 foot room, it has no problem looking, looking across the room. Thank you for watching this how-to video on setting up the FOSCAM wireless IP camera, model number FI8910W. This is the newest web IP camera by FOSCAM. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, feel free to send to me. Thanks for watching Walker Hamster. Bye.